Hello everyone. A very good day. You have already estimated the uh, additional funds needed or AFN. Now it is the time to see what will happen to AFN if we change different values of like asset over sales, liabilities over sales, dividend payout ratio, net profit margin. You know that we have assumed that the dividend payout ratio, the net profit margin, asset over sales and liabilities over sales, these will continue in the continue to have the same value in the next year, but which is not the reality. Normally the changes. Okay, so we can conduct the sensitivity analysis and what will happen to AFN if for different values, you know, what will be the value of AFN for different values of asset over sales, liabilities over sales, net profit margin over net profit margin and dividend payout ratio. For doing that, let us create a new, uh, create a copy of the AFN worksheet, uh, which should be before assumption worksheet okay and give a, a give it a name sa for sensitivity analysis okay now uh, for conducting the sensitivity analysis you need items for which you know for the changes of which you want the values of afn okay and the afn itself so the sensitivity analysis can be can of course be done for one variable but it is also useful to conduct the sensitivity analysis for two variables at a time okay that can give us uh, you know more insight uh, of the of the impact of two related variables on afn so at first we choose to conduct the sensitivity analysis for uh, for two variables which are net profit margin and dividend payout ratio because we have already the net profit margin and dividend payout ratio uh, here in our calculation and the calculation is linked to that okay uh, calculation is linked to that so we just create a table uh, row of the table should contain dividend payout ratio okay to indicate that i am using the you know kind of arrow to indicate that the row values will be dividend payout ratio and the columns will be okay let us make it one row below okay so the uh, profit margin which we call m m should be in the column okay uh, now let us make the column centered so that we can see it very clearly okay so keeping one row empty you know now uh, one cell empty now we key in different values of net profit margin like i would uh, prefer to have like 0.25 then 0.5 okay we have to change the format to number and uh, for this case two decimal places because our changes are okay so i will go up to four net profit margin you know uh, can we also have zero profit net profit margin why not okay so let us uh, bring one cell down and then put here zero let me for paint the format so that i do not have to do it again okay so these are the different profit margin values now different dividend payout ratio values so dividend payout ratio value value can start from zero that means no dividend then uh, 0.1 okay let me uh, change the format to number with uh, two decimal points now let me drag it up to the value of one okay uh, and you can see our columns are shorter in this area so maybe we can widen the columns because our value of AFN will really need a quite wide columns okay okay so we have our dividend payout ratio from 0 to 100 percent and our uh, net profit margin from 0 to 400 percent okay now in the intersection of these two rows and columns we have to link to the 
afn okay so that uh, we get the value of afn in our data table okay so we i will press f4 to lock it it is always useful to lock because we are not going to, we do not allow it to change sometimes even if you do not lock that will be okay so to identify it as uh, our target we just make it a box okay now let us select the whole table do not go beyond that let us select the whole table and then click data click what if analysis data table now you have got uh, you know row input cell and column input cell you can see that our rows are actually you know our uh, our row is actually uh, showing different possible values of dividend payout ratio so we click uh, the dividend payout ratio here and our column is actually showing the different possible values of net profit margin so we click the net profit margin cell here so what will happen now if we click ok now excel will calculate the value of afn for different values of the column and different values of the row replacing here replacing the original value here okay and create our create the table for us now let us click ok oh you can see you know we have got so many afns for different values of dpr and different values of net profit margin now we can see a, a kind of con inconsistency in the in the formatting so uh, the easiest way is you know select a cell with the correct formatting then click under home click format painter and then select all the amounts here okay so now all of those things become in currency format accounting format another useful tool is you know for visualization purpose you know uh, you can use the conditional formatting in conditional formatting there is an option color scale so color scale will show you different values hmm. so if you want uh, to have you know negative uh, uh, the additional fund needed to be some kind of alert then you can make them choose a color scheme that shows them in red you can see that one i think this one will be appropriate okay so here you can see that the additional funds needed will be positive if our dividend payout ratio is 100% and uh, uh, and also the net profit margin is lower now we can also conduct the sensitivity analysis for different values of asset over uh, sales and liabilities over sales okay so we can see that uh, unlike net profit margin and dividend payout ratio we do not have separate calculation for asset over uh, asset over asset over sales and uh, current liabilities over sales so we have to uh, we have to show that separately therefore let us so show asset over sales that means a0 over s0 and liabilities over cells that means l0 over s0 you can see that asset over cell will be equals to asset uh, this one over cell and liabilities over cell will be equals to And um, to look it better, I'm going to reduce the decimal points. Up to two is fine for now. Remember that uh, before we conduct the sensitivity analysis, we have to, because we are going to use these two uh, cells as the row input cell and column input cell, so they should be integrated in the calculation of AFN. Okay, so in the AFN calculation, uh, we, are, we have to do this now because we did not do it uh, before 
okay if we have calculated this asset of ourselves and asset of our liabilities of ourselves separately here then link that in our calculation then that could be just like you know doing the sensitivity analysis for net profit margin and uh, dividend payout ratio but because we did not integrate this calculation so now instead of having the calculation separately here we will link to uh, this one okay so this is actually the same you know instead of c24 in c24 we are doing the same thing that we have done before here okay and you will see if you look at the additional funds needed after i press enter it will not change because our calculation is not really affected but we have to make sure that we integrate this one okay the cell that we use at row input cell and column input cell letter that should be integrated in the calculation of additional funds needed okay again so for spontaneous liability we have c9 over c8 here but we just try to link it with this one so we just delete this one and link to this one and again you can see our value is the same okay so now if we want to do the sensitivity analysis the same manner i'm doing it very quickly a0 over a0 that will be in our row A0 over uh, sorry L0 over S0 that will be in the column and let us put different values L0 over S0 is here 0.36 so I can make it like 0 0.51 change the format to number with uh, two decimal point and bring it up to maybe 5.5 .5, it's okay oh again that is a mistake it should be here a0 over s0 okay now for l0 over s0 we should make it uh, l0 over s0 again we follow the same ratio 0.5 1 okay let us change the value of, uh, change the format to two decimal point and also make it centered to five point done it for 5.5 .5, so I lost do it 5.5 .5. okay now again for this one let me make it boxed uh, refer to the AFN for which we are doing the sensitivity analysis press F4 uh, now now select the whole table okay now click data what if analysis data table row input cell you know that the row is a0 over s0 so click here column input cell you know that it is l0 over s0 so click this one then click ok and again select the values make the formats consistent by using format painter and also to uh, visualize the changes you can of course use the color scale maybe a different color scale okay so here you can see different values of additional funds needed for uh, for the different values of asset over sales and liabilities over sales so how do you use this table for example if you want to find what will be our additional funds needed uh, you know if our 
dividend if our net profit margin is 2 200 percent and dividend payout ratio is 50 percent so you have to look at the intersection of these two this is for uh, the net profit margin of 2 and dividend payout ratio is 50 percent so in that case our our additional funds needed will be a negative 10 9022018 okay that's it thank you very much